They met as musketeers, then as puberty hit, so did fame. The fame lasted, but the relationship? I think they didn't get to spend a lot of time together. If she heard that Justin were flirting with someone in another city, she'd go out here and get back at him by flirting with someone big time. What was life really like for music's hottest couple? We'll address every burning question. Britney Spears and Fred Durst have had a very odd relationship. Every scandal. Britney lived to regret those comments she made when she was younger about being a virgin. We'll examine the innuendos. There was a rumor that Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake like we're dating, even though there's a huge age discrepancy. And the speculation. Is Britney's chest real or just so expensive that it seems real? Only her gynecologist knows for sure. And we'll squeeze all the juice out of the biggest Britney and Justin rumor of all. Britney and Justin have been secretly seeing each other off and on for the last few months. They're the couple who went from soulmates to swinging singles before our very eyes. I don't want to talk about my personal life. I am single. Is that the last word? Maybe not. Love Goes Pop on Britney and Justin Love Chain. My relationship is going very well, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's going really well. I'm really, really happy, and hopefully he's really happy. In August of 2001, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were in love and on top of the pop world. NSYNC's latest album, Celebrity, landed at number one, and Britney completed work on her third album, Britney. Less than a year later, this golden couple went poof. Britney and Justin were both born in 1981. They were hardly marked for stardom. She grew up in rural Kentwood, Louisiana, and he was from Memphis, Tennessee. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were not overnight sensations. In fact, both of them were on Star Search when they were about eight or nine, and then they were in the Mickey Mouse Club. Justin and Britney uh, joined the cast in our sixth and seventh season. They came on in, in 1993. I got so much experience just being on that show, and um, there was like 20 kids on the show, and. We got to sing, dance, and act. By 1995, Justin was part of the boy band In Sync. I knew that Justin had that special star quality because he could sing great, he did great riffs. In Sync's self-titled debut album landed at number two in October of 1998. In January of 1999, Britney dropped her debut album. It landed at number one. Britney Spears burst on the scene with her first single. It was called Baby One More Time. Britney Spears started out sort of as the ingenue with a very like teasing Catholic school girl outfits and she looked very innocent. Sex sells records and Britney wasn't afraid to give it her best shot. Some fans shot back. Her dress and um, some of the lyrics just, uh, I don't think are appropriate for real young kids. I don't understand the whole hoopla about her. I mean, there's a lot of girls who dress a lot more provocatively than me and no one ever says anything. Very quickly, almost before her eyes, she evolved into a very like precocious, sexual young woman. And she was, you know, she wears what people call fast fashion, which is sort of a euphemism for like slutty clothes. It's not like I look at it and say, oh, well, that's too sexy or, well, that's too sweet. I feel comfortable being in it, and if, that, if it makes me happy, then that's all that matters. It's just whatever I feel like wearing. Sure, people cared about what Britney was wearing, but what they really cared about was what she was packing. People still wonder, did Britney develop a huge bosom overnight, or is it our imagination? Are they real? Are they fake? Only her gynecologist knows for sure. Meanwhile, Britney kept turning up the sex appeal with each new video. Still, Britney claimed to be, shall we say, untouched by human hands. But in July of 1999, she did admit to having a pretty high-profile infatuation. Film and TV is something I definitely want to get into, especially film. Anything with Ben Affleck in, I would do. The rumor that Britney Spears had hooked up with Ben Affleck has been around ever since the release of the movie Pearl Harbor. It's the rumor that just won't go away. Teenage crushes are common, but one royal rumor really made headlines in November of 1999. When I was in London, I heard that he was a fan. His secretary, they wanted a, a picture of me, so I sent him a picture, and then after that, we just ex exchanged a couple of emails, and that's it. So that led, you know, that was totally, you know, overdone, and everyone made such a big deal out of it, and then now all of a sudden we're dating and getting married, but it's, that's awful. In fact, Britney's main man was about to re-enter her life. 
their romance was practically inevitable. The dirt on Britney's first love and rumors about her first time when we come back. By 2000, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were both on a career roll. Britney's second album, Oops, I Did It Again, debuted at number one, and Britney's multi-million dollar commercial deal to Pepsi made it clear that she was a star. While Britney hit high notes as a solo act, for those who think young, Justin was clearly in sync's main man. In August 2001, NSYNC's celebrity album topped the chart, selling two million copies its first week. But the public became more interested in romance than record sales. The couple was spotted snuggling at Spears' 18th birthday party. The rumor mill kicked into gear. Britney and Justin played the friend card, but no one was buying it. We hang out every now and then. But no, I'm not in love. Yeah, right. In September 2000, Britney was singing a different tune. After Britney and Justin went public, their fans went wild. Justin's a baby. And Britney's sorry. I just want to say I like Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> My relationship is going very well, by the way. He's on tour with me, and, but he's about to, I'm getting really spoiled because he's with me so much right now and he's about to have to leave, but yes, we're doing really well. To have a real relationship, I was always taught that there are two things you need, one of them being trust, the other one being respect, and you know, if you build, if you build a relationship, I mean, that's with friendship too, so if you build a relationship off of that, you just go from there and you don't sweat the small stuff. Yes. Yes. You like that one? I, I like that one. That sound like I know what I was talking perfect, about? Yes. All right. In January 2001, Britney and Justin took their steamy romance to the next level. They moved into Britney's new $3 million crib in the Hollywood Hills. They really didn't want it for people to know that they were just about living together. So they tr tried to keep that quiet because at that time, Britney had the sweet girl image that she wanted to maintain, or, or at least her agents wanted her to maintain. Which leads us to. Yes, I would like to try and do that. Right. Brittany lived to regret those comments she made when she was younger about b being a virgin and remaining one until she got married. After Britney Spears made that comment that she was a virgin and had a very serious boyfriend, people kept asking, so, you guys have been together for a while? Have you done it? It really began to follow her. They say it's, you know, really, really special when you find that person and, you know what I mean? It, and you, you do that for the first time with someone, I want to make sure it's a person that I love and it is the right person. In January 2002, Britney's sex life was the main topic on the minds of the international media at the Cannes Film Festival. I'm just wondering um, how you feel about all the constant speculation about your virginity and whether you are a virgin or not. I really wish I would have never said anything to begin with because I'm kind of stuck in this little place where people are always asking me, but um, you know, that's just something that's part of growing up and that's just something that we all have to deal with, so... Yeah. Have there been any changes on that front? <laughs> <laughs> that's a personal question. Is Britney still a virgin? You know, and I pressed her on this. Ultimately, she says, uh, trust me, I'm not going to have a press conference to announce that I've lost my virginity. In February 2002, Justin was working on his first solo album, and Britney celebrated the premiere of her first movie, Crossroads. I thought she did an excellent job. Well, thanks, I really babe. did. I mean, and I'm probably her worst critic. I'm, you know, I tell, I'm really honest with her. When you're famous, you have uh, the reward of going out wherever you go and people recognizing you and, and liking, you know, you for what you are. But the other side is, the downside is you don't have a private life. You can't do what you want to do and not worry about people watching or paparazzi is trying to pop up and take your photo. This exclusive video was taken just hours after the Crossroads premiere. Dude. Go away. Just let us get a picture and then we'll leave you guys alone. Got one. No, 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 Before speeding off, Brittany gave the photographer one last message. Brittany was
was fed up. I don't want to talk about my personal life. I'm sorry, that's the last question I said. Thank you guys so much. Bye. You know, almost immediately when you see a celebrity couple get together, you start to read the items that they're breaking up. We'll give all the juicy details about the breakup that shook the music world. But first, we asked E! Online viewers whether they thought Britney and Justin ever knocked boots. An overwhelming 87% said they definitely got it on. We'll be right back. In 2001, Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake had a Hollywood trifecta. They were young, rich, and in love. But constant media meddling began to expose, maybe even cause, trouble in pop paradise. Fame is a very hard burden to carry. It's very difficult to be on all the time, to smile all the time. Relationships at any age are difficult, but they're even more difficult when it's your first love. And for Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears to have their first love in front of everyone made it almost impossible for it to work. The first hint of problems actually came when Britney was filming her movie Crossroads, and Justin began work on his solo album Justified. Because of their schedules, they rarely spent time together, a fact that people began to notice. We'd hoped that, that Justin would be able to come and visit the set, but he was, was really busy at the time recording. So, But, you know, I, I met Justin. He's a great guy. Really um, a good sport about the whole thing. Britney was also reportedly jealous of some of Justin's music video co-stars. I think it's harder for me. And see, I know when I watch it that, you know, I've been there and I've done the same thing, and it is nothing. When, for some reason, you know, when you watch the person you love kiss someone, it's just, I don't know. Despite the rumblings, on March 2nd, 2002, Britney appeared on SNL to promote her film Crossroads. Justin was by her side. But just two weeks later, Britney and Justin confirmed their love went pop. The British tabloids were the first to leak the story. Unable to hide the truth anymore, the couple came clean. Justin then, you know, finally moved out of, of the mansion, you know, they stopped living together and so forth. People are always more fascinated with, um, it seems, with breakups than dating. Justin Timberlake tried to reconcile with Britney Spears around the time of her 21st birthday. They were at a club called Sweet 16 in New York City. He was there, she was there, independently of each other. He came up to her and she basically turned her back on him. Britney actually tried, uh, she made one visit to his place in, in Florida and tried to effect a reconciliation. And he, he just, he said no. The media reported that Britney Spears had a meltdown after she and Justin broke up. She didn't have a meltdown, but she definitely had a very hard time with it. The two of them used to talk on the phone for a few months after the breakup, but all those conversations would end with her in tears and even throwing things against the wall. There were so many stories, it was tough to separate truth from fiction. In November 2002, days before his solo album debuted, Justin tried to clear the air. I remember when we decided that we were going to go our separate ways. We sat down and I said to her, I said, if there's ever a moment where you ever need me, you can rest assured that I will be there because I love you as a person, and I will always love you. With both Britney and Justin claiming undying love and heartbreak that the romance was over, most people wanted to know what happened. No one has said from either side definitively what caused the breakup. There are two conflicting stories about the breakup. There's the uh, cheating story, which is that uh, Britney cheated on Justin. Okay, that's a possibility. And then there's the Justin story, Britney wanting to preserve her virginity, and Justin being an impatient young man. From everything that I've heard from both sides, the two of them were very young and nervous about having such a serious relationship, and she probably made a mistake and he found out about it, and he had a hard time forgiving her for it. While there are no clear answers, perception is reality. And according to our E! Online poll, 75% of our users believe that Britney cheated on Justin. As far as Justin's fans were concerned, he made his feelings clear through his music. Justin did write this song called Crimea River, and if you actually stare at the lyric sheet, it would suggest that he suffered some kind of a broken heart, some kind of betrayal, 
and one can only sort of point the finger at the obvious subject. If you listen to the lyrics of Cry Me a River, it sounded like she cheated on him. And in fact, some sources have told me that she cheated allegedly with a choreographer by the name of Wade Robson. Of course, Justin never bothered to confirm or deny the rumors about the song. When you go through something that's tough like that, you know, in, in your personal life, we tend to seek refuge anywhere you can, and, and it was just a good time, and you know, I was able to, to seek it um, in writing. Hey, who cares if the song was really about Britney? The public seemed to think so. Cry Me a River went top five and boosted Justin's solo career. To Britney's credit, she's taken the high road and not commented at all on Justin's songs or his antics. Not that it mattered, because the press and some high-profile people were about to do the talking for Britney. Fred, a, a message to Britney. We'll get it on television for you. She already knows how I feel about it. Britney is a swinging single when we return. In 2002, Britney and Justin split up, then tried to make up. But Justin's headline-grabbing music video seemed to put all rumors to rest. Britney and Justin were officially single, very single. At the end of 2002, Limp Bizkit frontman Fred Durst What's up? let loose about his relationship with Britney Spears. Fred Durst said that they were dating and that they were hot and heavy for a while. She already knows how I feel about it. How's that? Good. Britney Spears said they never dated, they were barely even friends. He was a producer on her album, but that's it. Now, a friend of Britney's told me that Britney actually said, I would never go out with him. He's fat and bald. While Fred was busy spilling the beans about their alleged hookup, Britney was spotted around town with another famous bachelor. Britney has apparently been seen in the company of Colin Farrell, the uh, Randy actor. In January 2003, Britney showed up arm in arm with this Irish bad boy at the premiere of The Recruit. I just met her a week ago. I met her through some friends. I'm... She, I know she's a sweet girl. I know she's a sweet girl. This is his night. I'm recording him. Colin Farrell was a definite fling. I mean, she she liked him the minute she laid eyes on him, and he was very attracted to her. But it ended up being kind of an embarrassing relationship because Colin is really too much of a Casanova. She wants it out there. She wants Justin to be going, oh, man. You know, she wants to make him jealous. But Justin wasn't just sitting by the phone. Since the breakup, Justin Timberlake seemed like the one who was more eager to go out and date people. Well, Justin has been linked to Alyssa Milano, who's several years his senior. So maybe he's looking for a more um, experienced woman. Well, she's hot. I mean, she's hot. I think her humble approach to everything she does, that's what makes her over the top sexy. Then, in the summer of 2002, rumors surfaced that Justin got a little nasty with Janet Jackson on a Miami dance floor. He says that he, would, he was never spotted making out with Janet Jackson in a club in Miami. There was also the groping Justin gave Kylie Minogue when they shared a London stage in February 2003. I thought it was kind of sad and hollow, as others did, when he sort of grabbed Kylie Minogue's butt on stage. I mean, that was, again, sort of Britney. Britney, you watching? Apparently, Britney Spears is working on a forthcoming album with a song that has lyrics that are supposed to get back at Justin for the video that he made, Cry Me a River. My album is supposed to come out, I think, in October. So I'm really excited about that. I'm kind of impatient. I want to do it now. I want it to come out now. So probably that's the main thing, my main focus right now. But enough about their multi-million dollar careers. It's time to answer the burning question. Will these two kids ever get back together? I don't really see them getting together again romantically, no. I will have to say that I feel like Britney still cares a lot about him, and I think the feelings are vice versa. Justin is a funny one because he really prefers friendship. I'm really inclined to say uh, Britney is going to find someone eight to ten years older than her. He's darker, darker haired. I think he might have some Hispanic blood. I feel that real strongly for her. If you can't trust a psychic, who can you trust? Well, a picture never lies. In the April 15th edition of Star Magazine, there's a photo of Justin supposedly leaving Britney's house. Britney and Justin have been secretly seeing each other off and on for the last few months. There's a picture of Justin, and it was taken in the morning, and it implies that they spent the night together. Justin and Britney haven't hooked up yet, but you keep your fingers crossed because it could happen. 
He did, though, leave her house one morning, leading people to speculate, did he spend the night? He didn't. They really don't want the press speculating that they're back together and apart all the time. Eventually, they may decide that they were meant to be together and get back together permanently. Are they? Aren't they? Will they? Won't they? Who knows? This is one love chain that may never be broken. Stay tuned. It's going to be pretty exciting because who knows where it's going. I think they're young enough. They're just getting started. There's no question that they were very compatible perfect together, they seem to be, and they, God, they share a whole lifetime, practically, of things for, for two people so young. I think they'll continue seeing each other occasionally and seeing other people most of the time for a while. Both of them are still very young and they have a lot to experience and they pretty much know it. People should definitely keep their eyes open for the next few months to watch whether Brittany and Justin do get back together, although right now they're keeping their